How's it going, guys? Electron Man. I have... I've gotten in quite the mess here. Um, you know, it's all fun. It's all learning experience. But wow. This has turned into quite the... Here's a kind of a, a view where we're at. I thought I'd give you an update on this old... Uh, Zenith. It has turned into quite a mess. Um, let me... Try to move some of this stuff around here. I need to clean up. I've gotten, you can see a, a thousand tools out here. Yeah, let me get some of this stuff out of the way here. I'm sorry. I'm trying to pick up a little bit here as we, we talk. Um, anyway, wow. What a mess. Oops, sorry. I know I'm moving the camera around too. Make you all dizzy, but try to get a little bit more organization here. Sorry, I might just cut some of this out. Anyway, I'm trying to clean up here a little bit, pick up, but where do I start on this? Well, as you can see, I've been uh, enlarging and printing parts of the schematic out, uh, tracing wires, uh, testing tubes, uh, the list goes on and on and on, and wow. Usually I get these radios and, uh, you know, they don't work because they got dried out capacitors, etc. When I saw the fire on the back side of this, I should have known that uh, I was getting in more than I than I was wanting to. But uh, anyway, apparently somebody in here wanted to be a, uh, a radio technician, and they obviously had zero, zero idea what they were doing. And uh, I have found more blown parts, and uh, what a mess. Anyway, I've got her kind of here. Let me see if I can get some better light on here kind of give you a little explanation of what I got going on in here. Basically, uh, I'll, I'll tie wrap and insulate all that stuff if I actually get her working. But uh, I kind of, one thing is, is I took out, it had a DC, it was kind of weird how this thing was set up. It had a, there was a switch that sat right in here that was for uh, when you wanted to run it on battery power. It had this uh, pigtail hanging out the back and then you mounted a the battery in that bottom part of that cabinet well anyway part of that whole circuit was is that whenever uh you plugged in or whenever you wanted to use the battery you took the ac plug and there was actually a socket that sat right in here that this switch right here this one dang it i'm dropping pieces now but anyway this switch right here which i took apart which was fried but uh that's why i decided to just go ahead and pull it out but the switch here would slide over and it would make it would move everything over to DC basically is what the whole object of it was but man it, it's super complicated it had you know six prongs here three here what nine prongs and about 15 wires so I've been trying to trace that circuit out and basically figure out how to eliminate this completely I don't need it I'm not going to run it on DC so I don't need the the hunky whole setup they got there so I pull that hole out and then I trace wires back and this is a hand wired uh, radio so it's not neat as you can see things are just piled in there so to get in the wires and trace them back has just been an absolute nightmare but that's not the worst of it so anyway I got all that rewired and uh, got excited thought okay I'm you know I might actually be able to uh, bring her up in a very act and see if you know if we're getting any life at all in it yet before we even get further any more caps or anything well it was just as dead as it was from whenever I got it. Even though I completely rewired it, it's got a new diode in there, a new resistor, a couple new caps. Um, nothing. I mean, literally nothing. Saying no current draw, anything. And it really got me scratching my head. And I'm like, what the heck's going on here? I mean, I should start seeing some life in it. And I got the voltage meter out, started probing. I've got 120 volts where I should. And then I noticed that the filaments on the tubes weren't even lighting up. So then I started to. Uh, chasing the vultures on the f f filaments and I was getting these weird readings well whoever was in here decided I guess just to pull all the tubes out and move them around you know I, shame on me I assume something I assume that it hadn't been gotten in and messed with so I never actually went in there and, and uh, pull the tubes and uh, you know I saw this fire and burn stuff so I didn't get into the tubes I figured you know let's get the burn stuff out of here first so I got the burn stuff out, and then I got to looking, and uh, and inside the radio there, in and in the manual, it shows you, you know, where the tubes belong. Not one tube is in the right socket. Bad, bad deal. 
you don't do that you know so and then on top of that i brought it up on the very fortunately i never pulled any current so i don't think i got it any worse than it already was but a uh, long story short where i'm at now is all the tubes there's five tubes in here oh by the way there was only four tubes um i didn't even notice it but one of the tubes is missing so uh <laughs> yeah it just goes on and on so anyway i went ahead and after that i oh god you know so i pulled all the tubes and put them on the tube tester and uh they're all weak they're 30 40 percent i don't even know if they'll work but uh before i go dropping a whole bunch more money in this um i need to at least get the one tube that was missing and i had one tube that was dead shorted so uh, and interestingly enough they were both one u4s but uh which is part of the receive function i don't know why they had one over in the and anyway don't go down that rabbit hole but uh so i went ahead and those aren't too expensive um one u4s i picked up a couple for like 12 bucks so i went ahead and ordered a couple of those tubes um, I, I figure it's worth throw 12 dollars and see if i can get her any life in her but there's also a one l6 tube in here and uh it's testing weak uh, about 35 40 percent and uh, that tube is super super hard to get and uh you know you're talking forty dollars thirty to forty dollars to get a used tube for that apparently real uh you know real high demand real small short supply so uh i'm gonna go ahead and roll with it like i said and get the two one uh one u4s and uh, put those in there and, and see if she'll come to life um i don't know it's not shorted you know the other four tubes that were in there fortunately diodes test out good on them and none of them are shorted they're just all weak and um i think i think this radio since it's just a it's just a radio it'll probably be okay with the weak tubes we're gonna roll with it and see i mean if uh if, you know maybe i can at least get some function out of it i don't know we'll see i've seen tubes at 30 or 40 percent work fine too so as long as i didn't have any dead shorts like i said i had one with the dead short and uh that was one of the one u4s and the other u4 is missing so i ordered two u4s for it uh like i said i'll probably clean this up a little bit more uh it just needs a little shrink wrap or protecting um if i go with this or i could do it a couple different ways but as you can see right here a lot of these with these wires were completely burned so what i went and did is pulled them back put shrink wrap on them shrunk them try to keep it kind of stock that and i didn't want to have to dig way deep in there and replace those wires so it's easier just to clean up the burn and put heat shrink on it and uh but i've got everything wired now um it should be correct i have one extra wire but it's just a ground wire and uh, I think it went to the battery pack. Actually, it went either way, and I was debating on whether I need to hook it up or not. I don't think I do, but I hadn't cut it off yet. But I think it's just a, a spare ground. As you can see, it just grounds over here on the chassis, so it's not like it's a major function. But anyway, other than that, all the wires are back in it. I've got right, uh, wired around the switch. So technically, with good tubes, I should get some life in it. I, you know, I, I don't know what the alignment is. You know, I don't know how... Like I said, I've opened a rabbit hole. Cool looking radio, but man, what a mess on the inside. And you, you know, that's just luck of the draw. I, you know, I can't, I can't blame the guy I sold it from. He probably had no idea somebody had been in here. And uh, and uh, you know, unless you took all the screws out and pulled the whole chassis out, you wouldn't have seen the bottom where it was totally cooked. So, like I said, it's just one of them unfortunate things. It probably, it probably is cooked. I was trying to figure it out. I was thinking at first that somebody probably hooked up a uh, a battery in and incorrectly or tried to use that battery pigtail which if you notice i completely just took it out but somebody must have tried to use that you know, that's what i was thinking now i'm thinking what it was is for whatever crazy reason they pulled all the tubes out i guess just to look at them and because obviously they didn't know tubes are different unfortunately they're all socket 13 too so they're all the same size socket so yeah you could if you didn't write down which tube went where or look at a, a graph yeah you could just think they're all the same but anyway whatever they uh they plugged them in all over the place there wasn't one tube in the right socket uh the two sockets open right here are one u4 tubes and i believe those are pentoid tubes and they're actually for the uh received side of things i believe but uh an audio but uh anyway uh, we'll uh we'll play it by ear we'll see uh when those one u fours come in um, i'll plug them in and with any hope i'll bring it up on the battery i can get a little bit of life out of this thing but kind of wanted to give you an update i'm probably going to move it to the side and maybe bring something else up here and work on for right now i'm going to clean up this bench what a mess look at all these burnt parts i mean i have i've turned the bench into a mess in two days messing with this thing and uh you know i get stubborn on these things and i really like to get her going if i can't like i said it'll just be a pretty uh deco 
You know, maybe I'll sell it to a restaurant. They just cut the cord off and set it up there on the shelf and make it look cool. But anyway, I wanted to give you an update. This is where we're at with it. Uh, we'll move forward and see what the one U4 tubes do and uh, keep your fingers crossed. Maybe we'll get some life out of her and we'll, we'll move from there. If I can get some life out of her, then, you know, might hunt some more for a 1L6 tube. Um, that that's going to be the hard one. I checked the other tubes. The other two are you know the same as the the one U fours. I can get them for five to ten dollars a piece. No big deal. But that one L six is uh, apparently um, hard to come by and expensive when you find it. Anyway, guys, have a great day. Uh, if you get a chance, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up.